This is a HoloLens 2. And to understand why I have one, we have to go back three years ago. When I found myself curled up on my couch watching YouTube. I stumbled upon a video called Top 10 AR Glasses. I was watching through the video when I found the Microsoft HoloLens. At the end of the trailer, I knew I had to get one until I realized the price tag was $4,000 Canadian. I ended up uh, starting a GoFundMe and raised the money to purchase the HoloLens, where towards the end of my campaign, I actually got in contact with Microsoft and they lent me a demo HoloLens from their office for about half a year. Uh, when I returned it, they told me to not buy one just yet because uh, the new one would be coming out soon. So I waited for the HoloLens 2 and it finally came out. I put in my pre-order and I'm glad to say that I finally purchased my own HoloLens 2 and today I'm going to be reviewing this HoloLens and unboxing it. Alright, so I finally have my HoloLens 2. I've been waiting this for this for a long time. Uh, let's open it up. Alright, so we have this really nice carrying case here. It's really huge, seems very protective. It's a beautiful box, we're gonna put that to the side for now. I think everything that we need is gonna be in here. So it says well, Holland 2. Pull off that sticker there. Let's open this up. And here it is. This is absolutely beautiful. Holland 2. So you can see all the sensors up here. Uh, there's the glass. So you can see these two little parts here, the uh, eye sensors, they track your eyes. This is really, really nice. Definitely well engineered. All right, let's gently put this to the side. What else we got in here? Got a little Velcro pouch. Holland C looks like a manual. All right, we got some other things here. We got a USB type C charger and the power brick. A microfiber cleaning cloth. Okay, so this is the manual. This must be a setup guide and getting everything ready and adjusted to your liking. This is really amazing. Incredible. Cool. I've had the HoloLens for a few weeks now and I have some good things that I like about it and some things that I think should be changed. Let's first talk about some things that I think they should change. The first thing is that I don't think they're pushing the new projector technology inside the HoloLens 2 to its limits. The field of view is definitely much, much larger than the first HoloLens, but I still think it can go bigger. Another thing I think they should change is that the new lenses that they have in the HoloLens have a slight rainbow distortion just around the corners. It's most noticeable when you're looking at a white web page or a white hologram. It's not super distracting, it's not that big of a problem, but I just thought I'd mention it. Now on to the good. The biggest, biggest improvement that they've added with the HoloLens 2 is the larger field of view. This has dramatically improved over the previous HoloLens. Like I did say though, it can go bigger, but it is already quite large compared to the previous version and it's a huge step up. Another thing that's improved is the hand tracking. You now have a lot more gestures that you can work with when using the HoloLens 2. Before you were limited to just an air tap and a balloon in order to bring up the menu and manipulate holograms. Now you can literally just grab them and manipulate them. This is so much easier to use and it's much better for new users to understand how to use the HoloLens. The HoloLens's comfort has also really improved. The previous version for long periods of time wasn't really that usable as most of the weight was in the front and it would really push down your nose and your forehead. Whereas they really balance the new HoloLens by putting the battery and mostly electronics in the back and having just the lenses and the sensors in the front. This has really balanced out the weight of the HoloLens and it's much more comfortable for, to wear for long extended periods of use. Another slight bonus that they added to the HoloLens is they use a USB type C cable uh, for charging, which is a lot more uh, accessible nowadays. So it's nice that they threw that in as well. 
overall, I just love the HoloLens too. It's such a good device and it can be used for so many different applications. Microsoft has taken the original HoloLens, which was a really, really good product, and they've made it much, much better, and they've allowed it to be used for so many more applications. There are so many companies and industries that are using the HoloLens to help people and design new products that will push humanity forward. This is a really good product, and I definitely recommend it. There are so many people I need and want to thank for helping me get a HoloLens to uh, Thank you, Microsoft, first of all, for helping me through the process of purchasing one and for helping me on some other things that I uh, am working on. So thank you so, so much. Uh, I also want to thank everyone uh, who helped uh, donate and sponsor on GoFundMe. Without you, I wouldn't even be anywhere near uh, close to getting a HoloLens. So you were completely uh, the main reason that I ended up actually getting one. So I have to thank you the most for helping me uh, with the money side of getting a HoloLens. Uh, so thank you, thank you so, so much. Lastly, I want to thank my parents for helping me and motivating me uh, to do a bunch of stuff and keep advocating to try and get the HoloLens too. And now that I finally have it, there are so many things I want to start doing and be ready for some new videos coming out on things that I'm doing with the HoloLens. So thank you everyone so, so much. You have no idea how much it means to me.